This tutorial will show you how to manage the scheduler feature on your site. These instructions are not specific to any particular organization. If your site is in Drupal 7, the steps will be the same. For questions, please submit a support conversation on support.1h.com, or if you're in Basecamp working on a new site, please post a new Basecamp message for your project management team, and don't forget to watch any other helpful tutorials on our support site. To get started, of course, you'll want to be logged into your site in order to use the scheduler feature. Uh, if you are wondering if you even have the scheduler feature, um, you will want to hover over the word content in your admin menu, and you should see a word scheduled. If you do not see this word scheduled, then you will want to stop and you'll want to go out to our support site, which is support.1h.com. And you will want to submit a support ticket or a support conversation to have our team add this feature to your site. It, it can be added at no extra charge, um, but it is something that our team does have to add to the site for you before you can start using it. If you do have the scheduler feature on your site already, then you have the ability to uh, publish or unpublish content um, on a specific date and time, and you don't have to worry about doing that. The only thing you do need to know is that before you schedule an item uh, to publish or unpublish on a specific date and time, you will need uh, to wait at least a half an hour to an hour for the site to register that. Now, when I say that, I mean, if you are trying to create an item and have it published or unpublished within the next hour, chances are you should probably just do it right then. Um, it takes about, uh, at the most, an hour for the site to register that you have uh, set something or scheduled something in the system. Uh, so again, if you're trying to do something you know, pretty quickly, you probably should just either publish or unpublish that item. But if you're trying to set something to be unpublished or published tomorrow or later today or you know, next week, next month, that's totally fine. But just be aware, it takes just a little bit for the site to register that you've scheduled those items. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to take down this rotor. We're going to uh, set it to unpublish itself. And we are also going to create a quick page so that way we can um, create a page, leave it unpublished, and then uh, have the site publish it on a specific date and time. If I hover over the word content and click on scheduled, that will take me to a list of all of the items I have set to schedule or to schedule either uh, to publish itself or unpublish itself on a specific date and time. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have anything yet. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new page. So I go to content, add content, and basic page. I can go ahead and create a new page. We're just going to call this page. I know, it's so imaginative content here. Uh, as we go down uh, on the left side of the page in your editing view, you should always see these options here. You'll see, or you should see scheduling options. Um, we can leave this to publish on a specific date and time. So if I want it to publish um, in a couple of days, I can do that and I can even set a specific time for that. Um, and then I can either choose to unpublish this on a specific date or time, or if I just want it to publish itself and just stay published forever, I can do that too. So you do not have to use both of these areas. You can use one or the other, or you can use them both if you need something to just be up for a few days and then, you know, take itself down. So again, um, don't feel like you have to use both of those areas. I'm actually only gonna set this to publish on a specific date. I'm not going to set it to unpublish because I don't need to. But before I click save, I'm actually going to need to come down to publishing options and uncheck the published option. And that's because I want the site to publish this page on a specific date and time for me. And if the item is already published, then the site doesn't actually need to do anything. So. That is why if I'm scheduling something to publish on a specific date and time, I want to make sure that I start out with this item unpublished so that way the site can actually publish it in a couple of days. When you go ahead and you schedule something, it should let you know when that item is set to be published or if it is currently unpublished or published as well. So if I go back to my scheduled option, so again, content and scheduled, now I should see my new page that I've created. You'll see that it is set to publish on a specific date, but not unpublish. If I wanna come back in and edit the page, I can always do that. From here, I'm actually going to go to my list of content, and I'm going to try and publish a, uh, an unpublish, I'd say, a rotor image. Now, I through the magic of the internet, I have already sorted my content listing specifically for the front page rotor image so that 
um, I can easily find this item. I'm going to have the happy spring rotor image come down since it's advertising Valentine's Day. And that's no longer great for us. So I want to come down to scheduled options. And it's already published, so I don't need to do that, obviously. And I can unpublish this. So if I want this to go down on the 17th, then I can do that. Now, I'm going to leave this published because, again, it should already be published if I'm going to unpublish it. Uh, so that way, it will the site will already take care of that for you. I just save my work. And then I like to always double check under content and scheduled again just to make sure that it's showing up um, and that it is listing that information correctly, which it is. So happy spring. Got your rotor image. It's currently published, and we are going to unpublish it on a specific date and time. So again, if you have any questions about how to unpublish items or um, and then set them to publish themselves or unpublish themselves on a specific date and time, please feel free to submit a support ticket at support.1h.com. And don't forget to watch any other helpful training videos and tutorials that you find there as well.